How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, you know I'm about to drag Oprah or Okra and Gail's dusty ass. So, I know y'all didn't see it, but you know True Royal got to put her spin on it. So, uh, Oprah, you crying for your friend. It don't seem like y'all got back up. Where is these... Um, Where's your friends? Where your white friends at? Where they at, Oprah? Now, I seen that little mood that you tried to pull this morning. It ain't working. We're going to continue to drag you and Gail. Now, I know y'all got a little weight issue. So, when we finish dragging y'all ass, maybe you look good when you put on a little dress, a little something, you know. So, um. Uh, let me see. Let me go over here. No, not that one yet. Not that. Not that yet. Not that coon shit yet. Wait a minute. Let's get get over here, Gail. I don't know what's going on, but that wig, your face, them glasses look wrong. And you know, high def. What I've been noticing in my royal family, if you got a high def TV, it show everything. And Gail is aging badly. You know, I'm not trying to say Gail is an ugly woman, but she's aging badly. You know, that's what happens when, see, when people do what they do, then you start looking at them a little harder and looking at how fucked up they is. You know, you start judging their parents. So you've been crying on the phone to Oprah. It ain't working. See, this goes way much deeper than Kobe. But it hit a pinnacle. I'm tired of y'all dragging my kings on a day-to-day -day basis. This shit real with me. I don't give a damn about getting, I don't care how many views and all that kind of stuff. I feel this. I'm married to a king. I gave birth to two kings. So, I have concerns. Concerns about people like Oprah. So, to refresh folks' memory, we're going to get into this first little short video. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oprah tearily said, Gail King's not doing well in the midst of Kobe Bryant's controversy. Hell yeah! We want you to feel some kind of way. We don't give a damn. You the one that brought this shit on. So, let me, let me play this video. Then I got another one to play. You know, I like to... You know, I like to drag shit i know it drives some people crazy you know i know y'all want me to play the video but i'm sitting here fucking around all right gail go ahead one more time embarrassed and i am very angry may i say she is not she is not doing well <laughs> Is it even a fair question to talk about it, considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved? Or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful um, at this time. It, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy. I mean, he went to... It went to trial. Yeah, but the case, is, it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to testify. So it was.
now death threats and has to now travel with security and um, she's feeling very much attacked. Uh, unbeknownst to me, my network put up a clip from a very wide-ranging interview, um, totally taken out of context, and when you see it that way, it's very jarring. It's jarring to me. I didn't even know anything about it. For the network to take the most uh, salacious part when taken out of context and put it up online for people who didn't see the whole interview is very upsetting to me and that's something I'm going to have to deal with with them uh, and we will there will be a very uh, intense discussion about that All right, my royal family, shut that down. Now, after Mitt Romney voted to oh convict Lord. President Trump. All right, okay, that's down. Okay, let's go back over here. I'm fucking up, man. I'll get there. Jeez. Let's go over here. You see how smug Gail is here? You know, when somebody is in their most vulnerable state, there is no need to further puncture them. I learned that in my mid-20s. I had an encounter with somebody that I loved deeply that broke my heart. And I seen them in their worst state. And I was contemplating in my psyche that when we have another encounter, that I was going to give it to him. And then when I seen how vulnerable that person was, I had no desire because they were hurting. And um, I just felt the need to just make that statement looking at R. Kelly like this, this you know. R. Kelly got issues and Gail bassed in his pain and whatever his issues is. The black community been um, quite vocal long ago about R. Kelly. Let's not lose sight that Gail got a raise off of this interview. So she figured she was untouchable. So we get over here. And um, they haven't even buried this man and his child. And we expect the enemy to do what the enemy do. Because that's what the enemy is supposed to do in this war. I have said this often on both of my channels. But when the hell is our own going to get on code? See, things have to be extreme with people like Gail and Oprah with these fake, fun, fun, uh, fake phony ass tears to hear the royal family. And that is quite obvious that you all will not touch Weinstein with his illiform penis and no balls. And some of the women said, you know, I put that video up. Some of the women said when they seen whatever they seen, they didn't know what they was looking at. Did he have a vagina or whatever he had? Y'all staying clear of that. I ain't staying clear of none of it. Because anytime I can drag the enemy, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to make them feel it. And anytime the enemy supporters do what y'all continue to do, oh yeah, I'm going to double drag your ass. So now you had to take off of work and you got to get security and all of that. 
Well, even with all of that, in that interview, you flatly fucking refuse to speak core truth on this case. Now, Colby had to pay a price for his infidelities, and that is between him and his wife. Now, his wife don't have her husband. His wife don't have one of her children. And I keep it core and earnest with the royal family. I had my issues. It left so quickly out of me. It affected me like many. Whatever my issues was, it was petty. Where did it come from? The media. I had to do a personal inventory. So back to the accuser opposed to the victim. They put her dusty ass in drug rehab. She started screwing somebody in rehab and got pregnant. So when it was time to bring her in the courtroom, she was showing and it wasn't a good look. So they was trying to clean her up, you know, like they usually do these dusty motherfuckers. And they like to drag shit on and they drug it on too far with, again, she was pregnant. You know, people question shit like that. And then I found out from Santine two nights ago that she had a host of people that she knew and went to school with volunteered to testify against her. And let's not lose sight about all that different semen in her dirty panties. All right. And how she went around bragging that she screwed Kobe Bryant. Let's get, you know, and get, and they know all of this. They got documents. And they'll go over that shit and they'll pick it apart and they'll shape it in the way they want to shape it to make our kings look bad. So as we continue on. Now, before I play this over two minute video, let's keep in our frontal lobe that Oprah is a master when it comes to manipulation. She knows how to use the media. All right. All right. Speaking of holding hearts, oh. and we did a show yesterday, Oprah, on best friends and how meaningful they are to us. And oh. I, I think the last 24 hours for your best friend have been pretty difficult after that interview oh. with Lisa Leslie about Kobe. And I just wondered just how she's doing. She and is what's... not doing well. May I say she is not. She is not doing well because she has now death threats and has to now travel with security. And um, she's feeling very much attacked. You know, Bill Cosby is, is texting from, is, is, is tweeting. tweeting from jail. Uh, and uh, she's, not, she's not doing well and feels that um, she was put in a really terrible position because that interview had already ran. Mm -hmm. It was over. And in the context of the interview, everyone seemed fine, including Lisa Leslie. Mm -hmm. And it was only because somebody at the network uh, put up that clip mm -hmm. and, that, and, and I can see how people would obviously be very upset mm -hmm. if you thought that Gail was just trying to press to get uh, you know, an answer from Lisa Leslie. But um, she, 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 obviously all things pass, she will be okay. But um, she what hasn't slept in two days. Vitriol? What do you I, think about all that criticism? I think the vitriol is, I think anybody can criticize anything, but the misogynist vitriol 
and the attacking to the point where it is dangerous to be in the streets alone because it's not just the people who are attacking, it's the other people who take that message and feel yeah. like they can do whatever they want to because of it, you know? You, you have built this community. That's what you're doing with this tour. That's what you do with your friends. We have best friends. We were talking mm -hmm. about this last night that if one of our friends was going through this, it's you. It's There's personal. no difference between you and What do you do? Um, you support them, and you know, I was on the phone with her this morning, I was on the phone with her last night, I was on the phone with her the night be before. I think you you stand in the gap, you try to be there for your friends, but uh, it's this is very hard, because when you have social media, mm -hmm. and the force of social media, and particularly people who didn't see either interview, mm -hmm. um, making attacks, and I think everybody has the right to have their opinion, mm -hmm. but to do it with such vitriol hate. is hate and meanness, yeah. So, she used the word misogynist. So who are you referring to? Because far as I can see, the enemy is very misogynist. Right along with his woman. Alright? Now the other part of that, my royal family that she said that's very key I often talk about we are the most um, vibrational people on the planet Oprah said something in regards to social media that you individually Rendering your voice with your beautiful divine words has an impact because you individually are chosen. So there's energy that collectively, when we do what we do, it is felt to the core. And we are not going to let up at all. We have duties and responsibilities. But one of the key things that I want to point out is our power. See, there's been so much, we have been so greatly affected by the system that we feel powerless. Mm -mm. Oh no, baby, you got power. You are royal. And any time any of us or any of them are out of pocket, it is our duty and responsibility to make the enemy and the enemy supporter feel our power. And we are sick and tired of people like Oprah Wintry and Gail King and others feeling that they have full range to just do whatever they want to do to us. So you got to remember the way they think. They think that they have the right to waltz in and out of different communities. No, you can't come back because you have been compromised. I said that last night on Lisa's channel. And then you would just want us to take fucking abuse. And it had to take Kobe to die for y'all to fully understand. But you don't fully understand. Because I hear those lugs that you drop and your arrogance. But it also showed that your black ass don't have no power. When you are rubbing shoulders with the enemy, you're going you gonna to do what they tell you to do. So Gail and Oprah, the damage is done and it is sweet oh so sweet to me we need to continue to apply the pressure and i just pray that lisa leslie stay on cold don't let them smoke you out and you contradict thyself 
leave it right there, Lisa. I pray this get to you. You know, you don't necessarily have to hear me, but I pray that you feel me. Then others get to you and say, leave it right there. Let that bitch waddle in her shit. I'll leave it right there, my royal family. So render your voice with your beautiful, divine words. And as always, my royal family, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, I'll shake.